Hello everyone. Welcome to my new video about how to make your home energy efficient. So what is this energy efficiency? Energy efficiency means that you are using less energy to do the same jobs, reducing your home's energy wastage and saving money. To effectively increase your energy efficiency involves more than just using the lesser amount of energy requires you becoming more aware of how energy is used where it is wasted and how it can be used more effectively and efficiently in everyday life now why make your home more energy efficient because it saves money it costs less to power a home that has been converted to be more energy efficient and it increases the comfort level indoors and it also reduces our impact on climate change many scientists now believe that excessive energy consumption contributes significantly to global warming and also it reduces the pollution conventional power production introduces pollutants that find their way into the air soil and water supplies so once you reduce the energy consumption you are also reducing the pollution okay now i will tell you some 40 tips to increase your energy efficiency at home so starting with the first thing that you can do is at the time of setting up of your or constructing your house so proper design of lighting and ventilation systems makes you use the natural light and natural heating and cooling for the purposes so this saves a large amount of energy then in the case of lighting the average household dedicates around 11 percentage of its energy budget to simply for lighting so simply you can change your light bulbs from incandescent to leds leds last longer than cfl so you choose led over cfls and consumes less energy and they contain no mercury so please switch over to the led lighting then decoration lights there are many unnecessary decoration lights at every home so please avoid using these decoration lights and reduce your energy consumption then purchase energy efficient appliances on an average appliances are responsible for roughly around 15 percentage of your total household energy use and when purchasing appliances you should pay attention to two numbers the initial purchase price and the annual operating cost although usually they uh, have we have purchased higher price of equipments but their operating costs are around 9 to 25 percentage lower than conventional models and when purchasing an energy efficient appliance you should look for the appliance with energy star level so this i have explained in my previous video about star rating of appliances most of the countries follow such star rating systems a star rated equipment is basically one which employs some kind of energy efficient technology so always go for the star rating and look for the highest star so in india five star rated equipments are the best now clean appliances regularly dirty appliances consume more energy than cleaner ones which is why it is so important to clean the appliances in your home on regular basis removing the dust dirt from the inside and outside of the appliances can drastically improve your home's energy efficiency then if you're using fans at home it is the best time to switch to bldc fans which is the brushless dc fan technology which consumes almost half amount of power than the conventional fans with induction motors on it i have done a video a detailed video about bldc fans i will be attaching the link of that also in the description so please switch over to bldc fans then inverter system so inverter is necessary where there is frequent power outages if there is no possibility of frequent outage you need not use an inverter and if you use one or you always want inverter at home go for solar inverters i have also done a video about inverter and energy efficiency i will be attaching that link also here then use inverter type ac and refrigerators nowadays we are having inverter type ac and refrigerator where the speed is controlled 
in the compressor the speed of the compressor is controlled thereby reduces the energy consumption i have also done a video about this also the link is also given so you can switch over to ac and refrigerator with inverter technology then upgrade your water heater because water heater consumes a large amount of energy and nowadays solar water heaters are available and then in that also there are the tankless systems so it is the best time to switch over to such kind of systems now during the warmer months close blinds shades and drapes on the sunny side of your home to keep the home temperature cooler and reduce the work of your ac if you have one at home open shades during cooler months to let the sun warm your home then air seal your home sealing cracks gaps and leaks and adding insulation can save up to 10 percentage on home heating and cooling costs then dress for the weather this is simple thing you can do when you are at home dressing warm clothing in the winter and cooler clothing in the summer to stay comfortable with making your heater and ac work harder less harder then replace your windows if your home has single pane window consider replacing them with more energy efficient windows or adding solar shades also then set your thermostat every degree of extra heating or cooling will increase energy save usage by six percentage to eight percentage so setting your thermostat to the lower temperature than normal will not cool your home faster so set the levels appropriately then clean or replace all filters in your home regularly dirty filters make your system work harder and run longer than necessary then Tune up your HVIDC systems. Then using your ceiling fan to circulate the air, which will allow to rise the thermostat setting to around 4 degree Farad with no reduction in comfort. Then don't leave your bathroom or kitchen ventilation fans running all the time. Because they always replace the air with outside. Then the refrigerators and freezers actually operate more efficiently when full. So keep your refrigerator and freezer as full as possible using water bottles if nothing else. Then be careful about overfilling them as this will reduce the airflow and cause the appliance to work even harder. Then defrost your refrigerator and freezer before ice builds up. 1 by 4 inch thick to ensure your appliances running efficiency. Now set your refrigerator temperature to the manufacturer's recommended value to avoid excessive cooling and wasting of energy. Then the most important thing unnecessary opening and closing of refrigerator should be avoided as far as possible. Then when cooking keep a lid on pots and pans heat rises so putting lids on pots and pans can trap the heat so it does not escape if you forgot to use a lid the stove will consume more energy to cook the food then use microwave ovens instead of stove when cooking convection ovens are more energy efficient than conventional ovens and they use fans to force hot air to circulate more evenly thereby allowing food to be cooked at lower temperatures and they use approximately 20 percentage lesser energy than the conventional ones then don't peek in the oven while baking every time you peek the temperature can drop by some 25 degree farad making your oven use more energy to bring the temperature back to the same set value then turn off the oven a few minutes before cooking time runs out your food will continue to cook without using extra electricity then wash your clothes with cold water when and where possible then choose the highest spin setting 
The washer will extract more water from the laundry when it's set on the highest spin setting. As a result, the dryer will not have to use as much energy to dry your clothes. So it is the best method. Then using dishwashers and clothes, washers, dryers, iron boxes, everything at off peak hours to reduce the load on the grid. Now turn off the lights when they are not in use. Lighting account for around 12 to 15 percentage of the typical residential utility bill. So it is always a better thing to turn off the lights when they are not in use. Now replace your desktop computer. Most tech experts estimate that you should replace your computer every four years and when the time comes for replacement of your desktop computer consider replacing them with a laptop. Laptops use up to 80% less electricity and run on less energy. Now chargers which is one of the most important things switch off the chargers in time such as that of laptops mobile phones etc and they consume energy when they are collecting and now with the electronic meters they even respond for an indicator led so it is very important to switch off your charges when not in use and don't leave your electronics all day long only turn on your computer monitor printer and fax machines when you actually need them then you can also use a power strip plug your devices into a power strip and turn the entire strip off when the devices are not in use and this will cut off the supply of electricity and prevent the device from continually consuming energy when they are not being used and there are smart strips which can be set to turn off an assigned time during a period of inactivity through a remote switch or based on status of the master device. Then watch your appliance placement. Avoid placing your appliances that gives off heat such as lamps or TVs near the thermostat. Then install programmable thermostat. A programmable thermostat enhances the heating and cooling efficiency by enabling homeowners to set their climate control system so that they can achieve optimal temperature for minimal costs. Then think of having rooftop solar system. Nowadays everyone is switching over to renewable and almost all countries are governments are providing some schemes. So it is the best time to switch over to rooftop solar then start a compost pile. You don't need a ton of space in your backyard to set a compost pile. Compost is the result of organic waste that's kept in a pile or container that decomposes over time and it will provide you gas which can be used for your home purposes. Then perform energy audit. Perform an energy audit by uh, hiring a professional energy auditor to your home and evaluate the inefficiencies and wasted energy in your home. A certified and trained auditor will inspect in and around your home to pinpoint saving opportunities and identify areas that need improvement. So auditors typically cha are charged by the square footage of your house or by the R. So it is better if you go for an energy audit so these are the methods which can you can follow at your home to reduce your energy consumption or simply improve your energy efficiency of your home thank you for watching this video if you like this video please do subscribe